Hi friends, this is Big Blue Hat. Today I'm playing the first five minutes of Tower Wars. We're gonna go with the meat versus metal so you can see what the whole Tower Wars experience is about. This is the uh, lobby screen where we can pick a map. I'm gonna run with the defaults and play a bot match. Now the loading screen and loading time for this game is deplorably long. I'm not sure why it is. That way, at least on my Surface Pro 2, I trimmed about a minute and a half out of this video. Eventually, you end up here, which is uh, waiting for a player screen because it has a multiplayer thing and they hook the bot into it. And anyway, you have to click ready. So I'm going to do that and then we'll get in. You can see the bot on the bottom, me on the top. Three, two, one, and we get sound back. The lobby, for whatever reason, is quiet. Now, the thing about Tower Wars is it's a fabulous little game that I really enjoy playing, but I can never remember the interface. Um, it's a whole lot of mystery meat and hunt and peck, and I get so confused by all the icons. And these little tip things in the corner are super helpful um, if you take the time to read them, which I'm not going to read all of them. Um, the type is very small anyhow, because I've got it all the way up at full resolution. But the first thing you need to do is kind of get the lay of the land and understand where you are. This is our enemy castle. They're blue, we're red. Their troops cross over under this bridge. And uh, I'm gonna queue up some troops from my red castle, which we'll look at later. There's another mystery meat that I found. It is, <laughs> the main menu is in the top left corner, unlabeled. The only thing labeled is this launch button here, which uh, will send in these Mr. Mopsies. Click, click, click. Um, in a few more seconds, there's a counter at the bottom that I found later. Because um, initially, you're supposed to be putting down towers, which, as I've hunt and pecked around here to show you the interface, I have not put down any towers, and I'm about out of time. So I will scrub back over here in a little bit after we get some more sense of what's going on. Each side has three gold things um, that you mine. And there we go, launched my troops. So this is a gold mining thing. I can't do anything with it yet because I don't have um, enough gold or enough action points. Enough, I have gold, I'm not sure what's up. But it has two things, battle points and gold, and you need both. You get battle points by sending in your poor troops and you get gold otherwise. This is a cool thing. You have to click and hold and then you get this interesting dial menu. Um, it's one of the more fascinating menus I've seen in a game. It takes a whole lot of getting used to because you have to click and hold and then you kind of like mouse around the circle to pick one. I'll spend some more time with that menu in a little bit. Right now we're going to watch these troops sneak past. I need to put another tower down somewhere. As you put towers down they reroute around uh, the location. So you can make a really nice long snaking path so the troops the enemy troops take longer. I just ended up redirecting that one by putting that where I did. Um, and I'm out of gold, so they're going to make it to the castle. The castle is armed, so if they do make it there, they'll still get shot. They just may be too strong for your castle. So the gunners that just got ready are attacking and attacking and attacking and hopefully not. Um, yeah, they died. We're fine. All right, let's go hunt and pack some more. I'm going to put some towers down here by the door to get them to take longer so that you unlock towers as you go. Um, this is like a little, which one did I pick? I think I picked the Tesla one. And yeah, there's a bow and arrow. Any, no, two bow and arrows. Anyway, those are the cheapies. And uh, you can use them to do some basic ranged attacks and to spread out the, uh, the walking pattern. So I'm gonna put another one here and uh, reroute them a little bit. And then as I have more money, I'll make the path even more long and arduous for the enemy. Um, he still can't upgrade that. All right, he's probably queuing up troops. And the more the more troops you send, the more battle points you get, um, which is a little suicidal. You just sort of send troops constantly to get battle points and send more and send more and send more. Um, and their death, I guess, gets you battle points or their attacking does. Oh, here's an upgrade menu, yes. Um, right, so I can't afford that in battle points. I can in gold, but, because it's free. But the battle points takes 50, I only have 12, so that's not gonna work. And this menu is the castle menu. And that one, okay, this is the barracks. And this is where I can I'll get new types of troops, I guess. Um, but yeah, they're, they're unlabeled and I keep getting them confused every time I play. Um, and we're out of time. That's Tower Wars.